Start and started with this lesson. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakaha Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect that's out here labored in all truth and sincerity to USA Shalom. This is the brother Amawan Ariyah from GMS Charlotte coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha Kadash. And this lesson I want to entitle, The Elect's Faith Will Preserve Us, all right? And, you know, Lord willing that we be of the elect. But as the scriptures tell you, okay, hey, we are to put on as the elect. So the works that the elect will be doing in these last days is what we, uh, what we aspire to be, you know, uh, doing ourselves man so therefore the elect will be showing great faith as you know we are uh, striving to do so that we may be preserved in the time of the evil day man okay because it is fastly approaching as well as the hour of temptation man okay and you know the spirit has been heavy you know as you know uh, the brother Kazakba you know his video has been you know uh, being shared along with different you know, brothers' testimonies of, you know, these different, you know, demonic attacks that, you know, they're facing, all right? And then, like, the Apostle Tahar, you know, made the lesson pretty much going into, you know, how uh, not everyone is going to uh, is gonna make it, all right? A lot of these guys out here, you know, that's teaching, okay, aren't going to make it, all right? Some... You know, brothers that we, we thought were, you know, we was, they we thought they were solid. You know, they were doing the work that was out there on the highways and byways. Hey, so our duty, you know, in this walk is to pretty much, you know, pray that we're of the elect. All right. And to keep pushing, to keep doing the work, man. Okay. And the number one way that, you know, uh, it will be shown who the elect is, is by their faith, man. Okay. So, you know, just going into the definition of what faith is, you know, just for edification's sake, let's get it in Hebrews 11 and 1. And it reads, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay. Now, none of us know if we are of the elect. Okay. And that's what makes that video, you know, so, uh, so scary in a sense, man, because Hey, it could be a possibility that, you know, hey, we, we are not of the elect. But the faith in this is that, look, as Job said, okay, if I be wicked, why then labor I in vain? Okay, because at the end of the day, man, we're not out here just teaching for no reason. Okay, hey, we, we're not out here trying to gain no, no uh, celebrity we're not out here trying to, you know, gain no money. All right, those of us that are serious about this truth, man, okay, that then gave our lives to this truth, all right, we sincerely believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, and we want to be delivered. So as the scripture I quoted, saying to put on as the elect, the elect is going to do whatever it takes to show Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah that we believe, and then we pray and hope. That the Lord puts the spirit on us to keep us in these last days, man. All right. Because hey, his name, all right, we put all stock in that, man. Okay. As it says, man, hey, the, the elect will call upon his holy name. And we've, we got, you know, a hundred percent, a thousand percent faith in those, in those names that they're going to deliver us as the times get hard out here, man. Because as we can see, man, the world is getting darker. All right. Things are getting more crazier. And prophecy is coming to pass. So this is the thing that we've been waiting on. All right. So we got to continue to hold fast, man, to what, you know, the Lord has given us. And that all hinges, you know, on our faith, which we know a, a component of that faith is fear. Okay. And not just any fear, but fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because according to Proverbs 1 and 7, it tells us that, you know, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And also, it tells you the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All right? So, if you fear the Lord, okay, you're going to have faith in Him. 
that if you continue to do what he commands of you, then the Lord is going to deliver you because the promises have been made all throughout the scriptures of what the Lord said he was going to do. All right. But if you don't believe wholeheartedly in what these scriptures say, man, then when it's all said and done, okay, you're going to fold. Okay. You're going to, you're going to, you know, bow the knee. You're going to take that karagma and you're going to be destroyed, man, because that's, a, that, that's the, 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 the ending for all the, uh, the unbelievers, man, all right, is to, is to be in that lake of fire getting burnt the fuck up, man, okay, so you have to believe, man, all right, let's get that real quick, this is Proverbs chapter 24 and 10, and it reads, if thou faint in the day of adversity, my, it's like your thy strength is small, okay, and this is exactly, you know, the proof to show that if you lack faith, okay, then you're going to faint in the day of adversity. When that hour of temptation, you know, uh, comes, okay, you're going to be, you know, uh, 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 destroyed because you, you, you got weak and you took it. All right. You took that karagma. All right. Like the, the brother Kazakba said in his dream. Okay. Hey, the dude, you know, was out there teaching. All right. You know, this is, like I said, it was a dream, so it wasn't, you know, a real scenario, but this is going to happen, all right? Dudes are going to be, you know, doing videos out there on the highways and byways, and, and hey, when things get real, all right, they're going to, you know, fold because their, their faith was never established, man. They, their strength was small, man, so they're going to faint in the day of adversity, the strength being your faith, man, okay? And we understand to to serve Yahweh by Shem Shai, you have to believe in him, man, Okay? This is, uh, this is Hebrews 11 and 6. It says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him right. So in order to please Yahweh B'Hashim Yahushua, number one, you have to believe that, hey, like, the, like the Father's name means, that he is, okay, and that Yahweh can deliver you from your sins, man. Okay? You have to believe in that wholeheartedly. All right? And when you do, okay, the Lord will reward you openly, man, okay? Because hey, your faith and your fear is going to keep you in the good graces of the Lord. But when you, you know, when, when you begin to, you know, doubt, that angers the Lord, man, okay? Because that makes it seem like the Lord can't do all things. When the scriptures tell you literally there is nothing impossible for you, how about you, man, okay? So we can't, hey, we, we can't get weak, man, okay? Real quick, this is Hebrews. It's like it, no, this is um, yeah, I can hold it. Hebrews ten and twenty three. It says, "Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for He is faithful that promise." Right. So Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is true to His word, man, and the Scriptures reaffirm this through and throughout. This is why it says, you know, uh, for lo, I come in the volume of the book. It speaketh of me. Okay, Yahweh Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has always been with us from the beginning, okay? The elect has never been forsaken. The elect has never been abandoned, okay? And Lord willing, we're of that number. Right? The Lord has been with us, you know, since the beginning. Even before we was in this truth, the Lord will always show signs that he was with us, man. We just didn't know him at that point. But now that we know him, all right, we reference him even harder because we understand that, look, the Lord said it, man. Okay, that he's with us, man. Whithersoever we go up, like it says in uh, Joshua uh, 1 and 9, man. Okay, so let us hold fast to the profession of our faith, man. All right, which is what, man? That if we continue in this truth until the end, okay, then the Lord's going to deliver us, man. He's going he's gonna to change us, man. And uh, eventually he's going to reward us with the kingdom of heaven, man. That's what we got faith in, man. But if you, if you, you know, are doubting, okay, that angers you how about Shem Yahushua because that's making him that's making him, you know, look at you because you're questioning his word, man. Okay? This is James chapter one, verse six. It says, But let actually I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up to verse five. It says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua that give it to all men liberally and upbraid him not. And it shall not, it's like, and it shall be given him, right? So if you feel like you're lacking in faith, man, pray to to Yahweh Shimia for more faith, man. Pray for more, you know, uh, 
for more, you know, strength. Okay, pray for more endurance. Pray for whatever it is that you that you feel like you're lacking in your spirit, man. And believe that your Yahweh Hashem Yahushua will increase it. But another thing you got to realize as well is that when you pray for these things, and the Lord isn't just going to you know pop up like a genie, all right, like from Aladdin, and just grant you these these uh these wishes willy nilly. No, the Lord, all right, the way he uh he rewards these prayers is that he'll put you in situations. All right, to make it to where you have to exercise these things. And when you conquer these situations, that's when your strength is strengthened, man. Because you were put to the test and you linked on your how about Shimia was shy and cast your burdens upon him and he brought you through it. And that faith was reaffirmed and you, you, you're, uh, you've now been strengthened, man. Okay? But when you begin to doubt, all right, you question if your how about Shimia was shy can really, you know, perform what it is that you're asking him to, uh, to do for you. All right, and that's allowing Satan, all right, to get up in your mind, and and you will, you know, pretty much, you know, create a separation from you and the Lord, man. All right, verse six, it says, "But let him ask in faith, wait, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord." Right. So if you're if you're not a hundred percent. In your how about Shimmy I was shot in your faith in him, man. Okay. And the Lord and he's he's ultimately not gonna deal with you because like I said, you're you're doubting him, man. All right. You know, you you're telling him that look, you know, I don't really know if you got me for real, man. All right. Now imagine, you know, in your life, man, you know, people that depend on you, all right, whether it's your family, you know, uh your wife, your your child, somebody you're taking care of. And they're questioning, you know, your authority, questioning if, if you really, you know, uh, if you really can take care of them, man. If you really, you know, can do, you know, your duties to provide and take care of them, man. That's going to anger you. So how much more you how about Shimmy Shai, man? All right? So you got to believe, man. All right? Because like it says back in Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to you, how about Shimmy Shai, must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right, so you gotta you gotta believe, man. And when you are put in these situations to where, you know that doubt can creep in, and you gotta know, number one, that Yahweh by Shimia was shy, and he, that he's he's uh putting you in this situation, okay? Because nothing, all right, is ordained without. It's like nothing is done without the Lord ordaining it first. Number one. But also as well, you got to remember too that, look, the Lord is with you, okay? He's not going to put you in a situation that you can't handle, man, all right? Let's get that real quick. I believe that's what, 1 Corinthians 10 and 16. It's like in 13. Let's see Yep, this is 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Right. So the Lord is never going to put you in a situation that you can't overcome it. Okay. Whatever you're battling, you know, whatever you're facing. You know, and even if you're facing death, man, okay, the Lord is never going to put you in a situation that he knows you can't overcome. But, hey, you got to know that, you know, the Lord is with you, all right? Which, real quick, just to land back off this, this point from this precept, let's get this in Psalms 46 and 10. It says, be still and know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So, like I said, number one, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, has control over all things, Okay. And it says, I will be exalted among the heathen, and I will be exalted in the earth. Okay, so hey, you got to be still and know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, that he's in control. Okay, he put you there, and he knows that you can overcome it. Okay, you just have to believe in him. Okay, that's why Philippians, what's that, 4 and 13, I believe, I can do all things through Hamashiach who strengthens me. You got to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that he gives you the strength to overcome these trials and tribulations, man, because 
Hey, in, in the time of Jacob's trouble, we're gonna we're gonna need to believe that, okay? Because hey, brothers brothers might be homeless. Hey, brothers might you know not have access to food for a couple days. Okay, brothers might be, you know, separated from their families, put in concentration camps, hey, find ourselves with our head in that guillotine, man. We don't know what the situation has played out for us, man. But at the end of the day, we got to know that, look, Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shaz is, is at the helms of all these things, man. Or at the helm of all these things, man. All right? And that, number one, he's with us, man. All right? We can't never let, you know, the, the demon of doubt or Satan get in there. Because, look, in that day... All right, and that day when shit gets serious, man, hey, even a sliver of doubt, that can spell your death, man. Okay, so you got to know that without a doubt, that your how about Shimei was child dealing with you, man. Because like I said, he reaffirms it multiple times throughout the scriptures, man. So much so that it look on the blue letter, when you look up, you know, fear not, it's written 144 times, man. You can't tell me that's not by coincidence, man. Okay. So the Lord is making it known over and over and over again, man, okay, that he's with us, man, all right? Verse uh, 11, it says, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah, right? And the Lord has always been with Israel when you go throughout the scriptures, man, okay? Even when he put us away, when, when we began to call upon him again, all right, the Lord came right back and answered our call, man, okay? Because hey, he hey, he's bound to us. Or we're bound to him, you know, better yet said, man. Okay? But wait, hey, Israel, okay, we we have always, you know, been a soft spot in the Lord's, in his heart, man. Okay? So even when the Lord was angry with us and put us away, at hey, the moment that we repented and, 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 you know, began to seek him again, the Lord came right back to our deliverance, man. All right? So in this final time, in this captivity that we're in today, man, Okay, the Lord, was, he said it, man. Hey, look, I'm with you, okay? But he's sitting back and watching who is going to seek his face, man. Because this world has fucked us up so badly to where it's natural to try to run and, and deliver yourself instead of letting the Lord, you know, do what he do, man. This is why we go through the different trials and tribulations that we go through now, okay? Like the scriptures say, man, all right, think it not strange, the fiery trial, which is the try you, man. Okay, try what? Your faith. Okay, because you're going to be put in situations to see are you going to lean upon the Lord or, or, or try to deliver yourself out of the situation, man. And what, what we come to find out when we try to do the latter, it always, you know, uh, uh, made it worse for ourselves, man. But when we let Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shah, you know, you know uh, will be done, okay, things these turned out, you know, for the better. And we grew and were strengthened from that, man. All right? So these things are to prepare us for, all right, the time of uh, of Jacob's trouble when all hell breaks loose, man. Because they had re the re uh reaffirmation that we're getting right now, okay, we might not be get we might not get on the regular, all right, like we get now, man. Such as you know you seeing one forty four, or a for brothers that you know we walk outside, we look up in the air, and and, and we see chariots, you know, on a regular. But it might come a time to where the Lord might, you know, just sit back and just see. All right, let's see, you know, what my servant does, man. Let's see if, if if this if this person truly believes, man. We don't know how the Lord's gonna do it, but you can't never give up with the faith in your how about you now shy, man. Okay, this is Isaiah forty one and thirteen. For I, the Lord, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thy worm Jacob. In, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, say of the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. All right? So, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua said it, man. Look, fear not thy worm Jacob. Okay? He said the Lord is going to hold our right hand. All right? And he told us he was going to help us. So, we have to remember that throughout these, you know, different situations, man. You can't allow the flesh to overtake your, uh, your logical way of thinking. Okay? Because... And the flesh will get weak. And it's like, look, there's nobody really here. So I got to deliver myself. I got to do what I got to do. No, the Lord is with us in spirit. But we, we we physically can see the Lord do things for us because in that day, miracles are going to be done. And we believe that. Okay. But, hey, the, the Lord gives you signs. This is why, like I always bring out, man, Job 33 and um, 
I already missed the verse up, but I think it's 33 and 14. Yep, Job 33 and 14. It reads, For the most I speak of once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth, perceiveth it not. Okay? So Yahweh Shinao Shah is always speaking. But it's, you know, unto you to be able to see to be able to see it on your own. Alright, which is why we're practicing walking in the spirit more and more because uh, for for you to think that the Lord isn't showing you that he's dealing with you, a uh, it will be subtle uh, signs the Lord to give that would be like, look, he's he's showing you he's with you, man. All right, he's got you, man. All right, for brothers to see chariots, all right, to you know certain certain events you just can't explain, except that it, look it was the Lord that did this, man. Okay, so this is this is what reaffirms our faith, man. Okay, because these things are gonna happen. All right, this is why hey, you can't you can't you know get too deep in your head, man, because that's when that doubt will creep in, and Satan a hey, he'll 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 get in there, man, and he'll destroy you. Okay, he'll overthrow your faith, man. All right, if you're weak. Okay, this is Proverbs three and five. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. All right, don't don't lead unto your own understanding, man. Like I said, man, the counter that like like that Job said, man. I was like not Job, uh, Psalms forty six and ten. Be still and know that I am Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shah. All right, that's how you trust in the Lord, man. By a taking yourself out the situation because you realize you're powerless to help yourself, man. All right, you cannot deliver yourself, man. Everything is Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah's will, and when you understand that, all right, it makes things a whole lot easier. All right, like the understanding to know that look, when Jacob's trouble happens, whatever happens to you, the Lord ordained it, but He ordained it to bring you to a better situation, even in the hell. Okay, because hey, hey, the Lord's going to have us on the move in that day, man. We don't know how we're going to be, but we're going to be protected. All right. Hey, you might get, get kicked out your home only for the Lord to lead you to a concentration camp. I'm mean, slacky, not concentration camp. Slacky, lead you to a bunker to where hey, you find food. All right. Or if the Lord puts you in a concentration camp, it might be, you know, to uh to show forth his power when he, you know, has either... Uh, angel break you out or he'll give you spiritual power to do it yourself man you know but everything is a is a is a a situation to where he can spin it all right so that he can be magnified but also you know uh, uh you know save his servant man okay so you can't allow the what ifs and the you know uh, uh the uncertainties you know bring that doubt in there man because hey you you'll bug yourself out man all right and, and destroy yourself okay Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 12. For fear is nothing else but a betraying of the succors which reason offereth, and the expectation from within being less, count of the ignorance more than the cause which bring up the torment. Right. So you can't allow that fear to overtake you to where your better judgment is being affected because hey, we, we as a people, hey, we have, you know, that fear to where hey, when you are overthinking something too much and the shit will it, it's not even as bad as you're making it seem but when you began to put too much thought process into it of how how these things are going to be instead of just allowing the lord to do what he was going to do all right like i said that 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 will mess you up man all right it stresses you out all right it, it may cause you to do something you know uh, uh irrational and like i said that might end up being to your destruction because you and it's going to cause you to move in haste, man. Okay? So at the end of the day, you got to look to, all right, how did our ancient forefathers, all right, how did they, you know, uh, uh, commune with Yahweh by Shem Shah and act when they were put in danger, when they were put in certain situations, man? This is why these scriptures are written, man. All right? These things were written for our learning, man. All right? This is Job 8 and 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. All right. So look up how our forefathers, you know, uh, how they acted. Okay. When they had to lean on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, did they make that? Did they make haste? Did they doubt? Did they question Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah? Or did they put their whole trust in him and, and, and pretty much know the Lord was, you know, at the helm of everything, man. 
Okay? And that's what we have, all right, the different examples of the story that we read about, man. All right? This is Sirach 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see. And did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And the answer is nobody. Because the Lord is faithful and true. All right? He, he has made it known over and over and over and over again all throughout the scriptures that, look, if you believe in him, all right, he will take care of you, man. All right? So we can't, you know, take things into our own, you know, vain ways of thinking. Because, hey, the Lord's ways are not our ways, man. His thoughts are not our thoughts, man. All right? So, hey, our, our natural instinct is to, to pretty much, you know, find, you know, uh, uh, find comfort, all right, to get away from uncomfortability. But the Lord is going to put us in uncomfortable situations to try our faith, man, okay? This is why that, that Revelation 3 and 10 is going to be so heavy, man, the hour of temptation. Because that's going to be the ultimate form of uncertainty. Because, hey, when us, you know, Lord willing, we're of the hopeful elect. Wait, when we, you know, uh, uh, refuse to bend the knee and take part in, you know, uh, the new system that they're going to set up predicated around the mark of the beast. All right. Hey, we're going to be completely, you know, uh, relying on the Lord in that day, man. Okay. So we got to build that up now. We got to believe even more than ever, man, because... We're going to have to fully walk out on faith in that time, man. All right? So, therefore, your mind can't be like how these people's minds are now, trying to, you know, figure everything out themselves, man. All right? We can't do that. Okay? Because it's not meant for us to do that. We're, it's, it's just we got to lay on the Lord. That's the end of the day, man. All right? This is Matthew 6 and 25. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is it not life? Is not the life more than meat and the body the raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? Okay? Because at the end of the day, man, hey, the animals, they get fed, they get sheltered, okay? They get taken care of, all right, on their day to day lives, man. So how much more, you know, the Lord's men, okay? So we're not to worry about how we're going to feed and, 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 you know, uh, you know, be, be nursed, okay? You know, how, and what we're going to wear in that day. We don't, that's not of our concern. Those, those are mortal thoughts, man. All we know is that our power, our power is going to take care of us, all right? Isaiah 65, 13 and 14 lets us know that, man. All right, his servants are going to eat. His servants are going to drink, all right? His servants are going to be merry. Okay, while the rest of the world suffers, man. Okay. It says, which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit to his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Okay, because the Lord is going to completely cover his elect. Okay. And eventually, we're going to be changed, man. Okay? It says, Wherefore, if Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? Right. So, and the earth, you know, they, they get their covering from the dew, from the rain. All right? So, how much more do you elect in that day, man? Okay? And we always go into, you know, the different, you know, situation, you know, miracle the Lord can perform on us, all right, you know, Jake be worrying about taking a bug out bag, you know, trying to, you know, hoard up food and water, you know, which is nothing wrong with, you know, getting those things, but we don't rely on that, because at the end of the day, the Lord say he got us, man, all right, but at the same time, we're not stupid, all right, so, you know, it, it's not, you know, unwise to, you know, get these things here and there, okay, but, Yo, your dependency on your how about Shem Yahweh Shai is what matters, not the physical, man. All right? It says, O ye a little faith, therefore take no, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what wherewithal shall we be clothed? 
For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you need you have need of all these things, right? And and the unbelievers, all right, whether it's the the natural Gentile, all right, the heathen, the other seventeen nations, or you know the uh, the Israelites that don't believe in Yahweh Bashin Yahushua, man, they all need those answers. They all need the the those you know uh, what's the word I want to use? Those definite you know uh, uh those definite answers, okay. But hey, we we can't tell you what the Lord's gonna do. But all we can do is tell you, look, the Lord's going he's gonna do it. But we just can't tell you how. Okay. Hey, he, he can bring manna from heaven, okay? He can make he and hey, you can have a water bottle, okay, and, and and be drinking it, and the Lord make it to where that water never empties. All right, just automatically refills. Or he can make it to where you won't even have to eat, all right? Your body can be sustained to where it don't it don't hunger for a few days, man. All right, your clothes he can make it to where they don't, you know, uh, you know they don't, you know, uh, tear up. And we know these things because look, we we read them. All right, the Lord fed us in the wilderness with the manna. All right, when the when the children of Israel was walking in the wilderness, their clothes didn't tear up. All right, when Shirak, Meshach, and Abednego, all right, were put in the uh, in the furnace, they're they're. You know, the hairs on their clothes didn't even get cinched, man. Okay? So the miracles is definitely coming, and we believe that. So this is why we we don't, you know, put too much thought into what we're going to do in that day, man. How the Lord is going to come down and, and, and save us. All right? But we understand, you know, that he's going to deliver us, though, man. He's going to take care of us. All right? So as it says, take no, therefore, it's like you, take therefore no thought for the morrow, Oh, I'll skip 33. So like you. It says, But seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So this is why I'm saying, you know, going back to the beginning of the lesson about the faith, okay? Because when you, all right, when you are seeking the kingdom of heaven, you have faith that if you continue to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh the way he commanded us to, that hey, we eventually will gain the kingdom of heaven, all right? And in doing so, all the things that you need and want, you know, in due time, the Lord is going to give it to us, man. All right. So it says, take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself, to set, uh, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Right. So the Lord is going to do everything in his appointed time, man. All right. So we just got to play everything play out. All right. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So as long as we continue to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh all right, the Lord is going to put the spirit on the elect, all right, Lord willing, that's each and every one of us that believe wholeheartedly in this truth and in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh all right, the Lord said he's going to keep us from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world and try them that uh, dwell upon the earth, right? So the Lord is going, he's going to preserve his elect no matter what. This is why at the end of the day, like the Apostle Har has said, we can't make ourselves be of the elect. We don't know who that is, but we can strive to be of the elect and Lord willing, our faith, you know, uh, is show through. Okay. Because hey, the elect, wherever they may be, hey, it's written that they're going to be delivered and their faith is going to stand true to the end. So if we continue to move as if we are the elect, you know, I truly believe that the Lord, all right, is going to manifest that into our spirits, man, to where we're not going to bow the knee, all right, that we're going to continue to uh, to endure to the end, all right, because only we are only ones that's truly fighting for you, how about Shemia all right, for truth's sake, man, and, and sincerity and truth, man, okay, so it says, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, right, so we got to hold on to this truth. We got to believe. All right. We got to believe wholeheartedly in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And not allow anybody to take your crown, especially yourself. All right. Don't doubt. Don't waver. All right. Trust Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai fully. All right. And he will deliver you, man. Okay. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. All right. I'm going to close it out and give all honor. Praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'ha'kwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. 
and peace and salutation to the elect. Until next time, I say shalom.